Welcome friends, such a joy to study God's word with you. We're talking about living a powerful Christian life and the things that cause it to be powerful. And today I want us to focus on living with purpose. Um, a purpose-driven life makes the Christian life powerful. Even when we look at the life of Jesus, it was a life with an aim. It was a life with a goal and a purpose. He did not live his life aimlessly um, and we need to follow the example of our Lord Jesus. Luke chapter 19 and verse 10 says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. So it was very clear why Jesus came. He came to save the sinners. He came to seek and save those who were lost or those who uh, were far from him and he also knew that he must pay a price or a, a ransom for this to happen and which is why he willingly you know, he kept his face uh, as, as a flint and he went forward uh, and, and made that sacrifice on the cross of Calvary for us um, and you know let's continue to see the purpose life of Jesus and all that he did and accomplished we see that he came to do the will of the father as John chapter 6 and verse 38 tells us he came to be the light of the world in John 12 46 he came to bring us abundant life um, as John 10 10 says and he came for us you know to have a, a good news to experience the good news of God and to share the good news to the world. So Jesus lived a life of purpose and each one of his disciples needs to live a life of purpose. When our life is purposeful, our life will be powerful. Uh, we can also see the examples of many men and women of God who lived to do what God called them to do. And you know, we also see things like calling in scripture where God... Um, uh, gave a certain anointing to men and women. You, know, you have the Apostle Paul, you have uh, 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 Timothy who was called as a, a leader of the church, a pastor, a bishop. So God called different ones with a different anointing to do what he wanted uh, them to do through their lives. So today, as we consider our own lives, it's good for us to see God, to understand his purpose for us and to ask him, you know, what uh, that anointing would be, what that grace would be, um, so that we understand why we are living uh, here on the face of the earth at this time. I'm sure God has a plan, God has a purpose and he wants to accomplish that through you today. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are so uh, grateful Lord that you've created us uh, with a design, with a destiny, with a plan and a purpose. And Father, I pray that each of us, Lord, will discover it and thrive in it, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.